8a, we're asked to sketch the graph of a negative portic. Portic functions have two shapes, and because it's negative, it has to open downward. So it's either a U or a W of some sort. Upside down is an M. And we also want to put on every location of the zero. So there's a negative 4 that crosses the x-axis, so 1, 3, um, and a 5. These are the zeros. This is where it has to cross the x-axis. Zeros are your x-intercepts. The green line that represents my x axis. Um, the other clues is, is that it has to have an absolute maximum at a negative 2. So negative 2 is somewhere in here. It has a maximum point. So that maximum point can be anywhere on our graph. But this has to be the absolute max, which means no point can be higher than that one on our graph. It has a relative minimum at 2. So I'm going to put a 2 here, a relative minimum. It doesn't have to be below necessarily, but I'm going to put this point below. This is our relative minimum. Just in this area, it has to be the lowest point. And then we also have a relative maximum at 4, so I'm going to go to a 4. The relative maximum, all i got to do, this is one of the biggest things that we do on this one. This is our relative minimum. It can't be higher than our absolute. So this point, as long as I keep it below that one, I'm going to be fine. So now sketching our graph, we know it's going to start low and finish low. It's going to be that U shape. It's got to cross through negative 4. This is the highest point of my graph. It crosses through at the at the 1, has a low point at 2, at least a relatively low point, and it works itself back up, a relatively uh, high point. I think I put mid there. I'm not sure why. That's a relative max. And then it comes right back down through the 0, 5. There's our W shape with the characteristics that was described to us in 8B.